Sean, there's been six days in between the game against Cove and the game coming up against Motherwell. How have the boys been in training? Uh, yeah, very good. I think obviously the, the period of time, uh, including extra time, meant that, that, that some players needed more time to recover. Um, but no preparations for Motherwell gone very well. And now, um, and now we see how the performance is. And within that time, we had a development game and a, and a bounce yeah. game. How important was that game for some players to get some much needed minutes? Yeah, really important. I think with uh, Elios getting his work permit, it was really good to get him a period of time. He's at the very beginning of that sort of program we have for him. Uh, Cal McGuinness was really good to see him back on a pitch. And Sean Mackey got some really, really much needed uh, minutes. So um, really important, uh, important game for the development team. We saw other younger players. Um, so um, we've had quite a few younger players train with us. Uh, I want to see as many as I can. So um, no, it was a really good game. And you mentioned those guys, Kyle, yeah. Elias, uh, Sean as well. Could they be in the squad for our game against Motherwell? Uh, no, no, I think it's a bit soon for them. I think Elias, um, that's his first game in quite a period of time. I think we really need to build him up over the next few weeks. Very young player, new league, um, new country that he's, he's now living in. So um, we have to give him a period of time to, to adapt. Um, and when, when we sort of feel that he'll be ready, then we can bring him to the first team squad. Uh, and then Kyle, um, Kyle, it's very early on in his in his stage um, of recovery from his injury. Cool. And talk to us about Dimitri. Tell us what he'll he'll add to the squad and uh, why you're so, why you're so keen to get him involved. Yeah, I was really keen from very early on to get him. So pretty much as soon as I got the job, I wanted to bring in uh, Dimitri. Um, just specific attributes he has: uh, incredible speed in wide areas. Um, and he gives me versatility, left back, left wing back, right wing. So, um, and a really, really good person. I've known him for a long, long time, or known of him a long time. Um, so I'm very grateful that it got done, done in this window. Are we likely to see him tomorrow night as well? Um, he's in the squad, but I think, um, I think I'll make that decision later on. I think it might be maybe a game too soon for him. Um, he's not trained for the week, but I'll, um, I'll make that decision tomorrow. Yeah, and so obviously players coming in, players leaving as well. We've got to mention Martin Boyle left the club last week. Mm -hmm. What was that like from your perspective and how's that process been of trying to replace him? Um, in terms of him leaving, just um, it was, uh, I think we were quite clear on the process, um, myself, Martin and the club, um, that there was a certain valuation and obviously that got met and then Martin had to make the decision. And once he'd made that decision, I think we just have to try and, well, one, you have to respect the player um, and really you have to celebrate what he did here. I know he did a lot of good work here before I came. Um, and then as soon as sort of that happens, then you have to really, uh, really plan to move forward. We'd already sort of put in place certain um, certain sort of strategies, whether he was going to stay or whether he was going to go. So um, as soon as that was sort of formalised that he was leaving, we have to now try and uh, move forward and, and find somebody that has uh, those specific attributes to then replace, replace, uh, replace Martin. And then looking ahead to mm -hmm. Motherwell, of course, a big challenge, a big opportunity. It's fourth against fifth. Yeah. How much of that is a motivation for us? It is. It, it, I've said it pre in the media today. It's, it feels very similar to Aberdeen, Dungeon United, where these are direct opponents above us when we played them. We, we went above Aberdeen, we went above Dungeon United. It feels similar. Really important. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough challenge, but one, one really looking forward to. And what kind of challenge do you expect from them? Obviously, they've lost Tony Watt in the window yeah. as well. Um, how do you expect them to set up? No, they've still got. Uh, they've got. They replaced. Um, replaced Tony. They've got two really um, sort of dynamic wide players that can play central as well. Um, really aggressive attacking team. They'll get. Uh, they'll get the ball forward very, very quickly. Um, even from our own set plays, they're a big, big threat. Um, set plays themselves. So um, they're a really good attacking attacking team. So um, we have to be. Um, we have to be at our best as we always do, as we had to be against Cove in the end, as we had to do against Dungeon United and Aberdeen. We have to be at our very best to win matches and um, it will be no different tomorrow. And finally, last time we played them at Fur Park, 3-2 win on the opening day of the season. The fans played a huge role on that day. How much are you looking forward to playing in front of the fans again at Fur Park? Um, oh, the, the fans have been very good, um, really supportive. Um, I have even noticed a, a difference in terms of even the other night with Kevin. There's a real sort of appreciation of what the players are trying to do. It's very different from what's been asked of them before, but uh, no, the fans fans are going to be vital really moving forward. Um, I have to give them something that they're proud of, and we're five weeks into that process. Uh, I think the fans understand it, um, so hopefully they're as patient as they can, but immediately they've been really, really good. So um, I want to give them some more uh, positive feelings in the tomorrow. Cheers, Sean. Best luck tomorrow. No bother. Thanks very much. Cheers.